A con man who was using stolen checks in pubs up and down the country has been sentenced to eight months in prison by Exeter Crown Court. David Michael Brown admitted four counts of theft and one of fraud and asked for 20 other cases to be taken into consideration. When he was caught in Torrington in May, he was wanted by police forces across the country. But if it wasn't for a tenacious local businessman, he could still be on the run. Jenny Walrand has been finding out how a pub landlord apprehended, apprehended Brown after being conned by him. David Michael Brown picked the wrong pub when he checked into the White Hart Hotel in Holsworthy and began running up a tab in the bar. Oh, he was a very nice man. He was buying everyone drinks, ordering food, bought me a drink, uh, just chatting to everyone that came in. He said, didn't look like a con man at all. Brown said he was working locally and paid a deposit by cheque for his stay. Uh, about an hour later, I had a phone call from another local pub who phoned me up asked if I had to be checking um, paying by cheque. So I said yes, uh, which she confirmed that the, the name on the cheque was the same as mine. Uh, so we realised that probably this wasn't legitimate. John managed to contact the true owner of the cheques and learned they were stolen and that Brown had been using them in pubs around the country for several weeks. But by then, he had gone. Um, and Mark in Suffolk had told me that he was travelling uh, by public transport. Well, we live in Holsey in a small town and realised that there, were no public, there was no public transport after about 5.30 in the evening. So I thought, well, he must be travelling by taxi. A few more calls revealed Brown had been dropped off in the nearby town of Torrington. So John and David set off to find him. While they searched the pubs, John's wife phoned them to see if anyone had seen their con man. The chef came down to get me, said, I think you need to take this phone call. And they described the man to me and it suddenly clicked that this was the man I had sitting in my bar <laughs> at the time. Well, I spoke to them and they said, yeah, OK, if it is the person, we're going to come and ID him. So if you can pretend that nothing's happened. Um, as we walked in, saw him sat there at a table, tucking into a 16-ounce T-bone steak. The con man was caught and the police say if it wasn't for John, he could still be on the run. They did incredibly well to, uh, to track down the offender because what the offender was doing, he was changing names on various days, in effect, so nobody could really track him down. We were inundated with de different forces contacting her, us in, in relation to offences that he actually committed on their, on their areas. So, yeah, it appears that he was committing lots of offences over a period of time. And for his work tracking down his con man, John Hutchings has been nominated for an award. Jenny Walrand, BBC Spotlight.